Hey everyone, so long time no see. Um, so I have been gone for about three months now and life has been happening during those three months. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a get ready with me and explain to you guys what's been going on in my life. So if you couldn't tell anything, I'm engaged. This is my ring. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so Polly and I got engaged August 8th. And um, I don't know if you guys remember, we did a relationship video. I've only done two videos with him. I think one was uh, my boyfriend does my makeup. And then we did a relationship video. And my hair was like this short. But yeah, so we are finally engaged. Um, so the past three months have just been kind of craziness. Um, from being engaged and we had a, a couple engagement parties and um, that and then also starting a new job that's pretty um, time-consuming so that's what I've been up to in the past three months I'm so excited to finally be engaged and um, yeah so let's talk a little bit about I'm not sure if I want to tell you guys the engagement story as I'm getting ready or if I just kind of want to talk a little bit about like um or like wedding stuff and I don't know I think I'll just do like a separate like engagement story that way you guys can hear the whole thing because I think it'll be a little too long and I probably should start getting ready because this is the get ready with the video so so D slick I'm gonna do like a cranberry smoky eye I'm like going out to dinner with a friend to catch up and stuff so I figured why not do something fall-ish even though where I live it's still so hot but oh my gosh I just I want to show you my ring up close okay so it's perfect like he did such a good job like look how beautiful that is and the middle diamond is his grandmother's diamond um, and there's just beautiful detailing on the side. Um, so yeah, I am in love with my ring. It's perfect. Um, so, so he did ask me in August and my family was actually going out to where he lives. Cause you know that we're in a long distance relationship. So my family was going out and we had talked before that like I wanted it my family to be there um, wherever it was like if it was going to be where, we, where I live or where he lives and so the fact that my family was coming out I kind of had like a suspicion um, but like I didn't want to get my hopes up but then again my hopes were already up so it was kind of just eh. So I kind of like, I wrote in my diary like before we went on the trip and I was like, oh, like, I feel like it doesn't happen. Like I'm going to be disappointed. So I'm like so glad it did happen. And it was just, it was magical and perfect. And um, so right now our wedding plans are kind of like on halt because we're trying to figure out um, his job situation. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but basically this job situation um, like, he could live somewhere else and then, like, where we would normally live. And so, like, it's just kind of all up in the air. So we have to, um, wait, do a lot of waiting to figure out, like, if dates we had in mind, um, are going to be okay, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm not going to give away, like, a date yet. But um, we do want to get married like this coming summer because we've been together, we'll be together, have been together for four years, long distance. And if any of you guys have been long distance, you know that that's not easy. And even just for a, a general relationship waiting to get married, it's not easy, especially if um, you're, you know, staying pure until you get married, which is what we are. Um, doing and so it makes things a lot, a lot harder um, 
so that's the situation right now but oh my gosh okay so one thing I can tell you guys in this video is I got so I got my wedding dress okay I'm so excited you guys and I'm so proud of myself and I'm not afraid to like say it but I'm just so proud of myself because guess where I got my wedding dress I ordered it online from China do you want to hear how much I paid for my wedding dress <laughs> I paid $275. Yes, you heard that right. I'm so proud of myself and like I did so much research because I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot spend like thousands of dollars because any of you guys know like wedding dresses are thousands of dollars and it's like I can't afford that. So I did my research and I found the dress that I loved and I was like, oh my gosh. So this particular lady she was very had very good customer service like she was in communication all the time and oh my gosh she made my dress so fast I was like almost worried I was like is this gonna be like a good dress because she made it in 25 days like it was made and sent to me from China in 25 days and I was like what and I also ordered my veil from her, which by the way, my veil was only 30 bucks. Like I was looking at veils on like Etsy and stuff and veils can be really expensive, like hundreds of dollars. And I'm like, uh, I don't really want to spend that much. Cause like you're going to be wearing your dress and veil for what, like six hours maybe at the most. Um, and so, oh my alarm's going off so I was like there's no way that's happening so I did that I received my dress and oh, I did custom measurements and it fits me perfectly now if you're a super particular bride and you're like oh my gosh I need to have like Italian silk or whatever I don't even know if that's a thing but like you have to have super like top of the line quality in your dress then you're gonna probably be spending more money not to say that the fabric she used was bad bad quality like it actually looks like it would be expensive and it's comfortable on me um there's only two things that I would consider like needed to be fixed or whatever which are like super easy fixes and one thing she did say on her website was that to be prepared to get like tailored um, to get your dress tailored by someone to help fit you better um, just to be prepared because I don't know why she said that but she did um, but like I gave her custom measurements and for the most part it fit me perfectly there's just a little area like in the tummy area that is a little bit looser so it could be a little bit tighter and then also it's um, a fitted type dress so like I can't really sit down <laughs> everything's comfortable but it's like one area where I sit down is a little too tight so I just need to get someone to like take that out a little bit and that's no big deal honestly to me the second thing is there are some little strings hanging off of it from where she had, was like sewing but those are easily clipped off like you can just clip those right off and I'm totally okay with doing that I'd rather do that and pay only you know the 275 than thousands of dollars um, so I am super thrilled and I'm going to be making a full-on like review video about this um, wedding dress so if you guys want to see that please don't hesitate to subscribe because I'm going to be um, uploading that but it's going to be after my wedding because I want to save um, my wedding dress I don't want to be like showing the world and then my husband can't see it if you know what I mean like I want um, it to be kind of a surprise like I don't want the whole like everyone I'm inviting to the wedding or something to be able to see it on the internet so that will be going up but it's probably going to be after my wedding and so that's going to be a, a little while but i would in, um, encourage you to stay tuned and just um, subscribe then you can see it also 
I wanted to be, so like, I'm just labbing and not getting anything done here. Um, so, like, I wanted to be, I'm going to be doing my own makeup because every time I've gotten my makeup done professionally, I haven't liked it, like, at all. Like, it felt uncomfortable. Um, I didn't like how they did my eyes. I didn't like the foundation they used. So, um, I'm going to be doing my own makeup because I want to feel good and comfortable and pretty on my special day. So, um, yeah. Oh, what, what I was saying is, um, I wanted to make this kind of update video before I started because I wanted to, um, do like experimenting with wedding makeup looks on myself. So I'm like actually practicing trying to figure out what I want to do on my wedding day. But like filming it so you guys can watch if you want to. Um, so after that's blended like a lot. <laughs> Said it. So yeah, that's what's been going on. And I got my wedding shoes also, which I'm so excited about. So that's pretty much like the only thing that's like secure about what's going on with my wedding is um we do have the church kind of, kind of secured, um, but other than that, like, the wedding dress is, like, the only, like, for sure thing that I have, and I'm just so excited about it. So, I am putting, baking, I guess they call it. I found this is really nice for me, because I have super oily skin, so this kind of, like, makes sure it lasts as long as possible. And all you girls out there with oily skin, you know that, like, you can't really find anything that's going to last all day. Like, without you seeing shininess, like, you'll have to touch up. Like, if you have really oily skin, like me. But this really helps it last a long time. So. So if you guys, do you guys want to see like any videos with my fiance? It's so fun saying that. Um, like we can do something. I don't know what we're going to do, but it'd be fun to do a video. And I don't know. I'm just like, I'm so excited to like, um, decorate my own like home and stuff like that. Like, oh, I'm just so excited. So exciting. I've been really liking um, this Sunkissed Trio by City Color. I just like ate my bronzing brush. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, I've recently gotten a job and I'm super blessed by it. It's, help it's helping a lot because you know, it's expensive if you're not engaged or anything like I don't know if you can assume but it's like weddings are expensive and so me and my fiance need to we're just like saving 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 the money we're getting from our jobs um because it's just it's just it's crazy but yes Eyebrows. Oh, that's lovely. It's like a jackhammer outside. <laughs> okay, 
So for eyebrows lately, I've just been doing the naked, or naked, naked color and just filling them in with the powder and then setting them with a clear brow gel. Nothing special. And I don't do this every day, like seriously. Like, I'm a nanny, so I don't wear makeup like during the week at all. And I look like a hobo, but it's all good. But I like um, putting it on on the weekends. Especially because tonight I'm going to visit a friend that I haven't seen in probably two years. Oh my gosh, it's been way too long. I'm like ashamed of saying that out loud. But I'm excited to catch up. So. So right now, so in the beginning of, whoa, I feel like in September and October there's been a lot of like fall makeup tutorials, which I have not done any of those, and then now it's a lot of Halloween tutorials, and like I don't really feel confident in doing Halloween tutorials, like I don't know what I would do, and like, I don't know, I don't really feel confident in my... Um, other those kinds of makeup skills I don't know what they're called <laughs> but so like I'm kind of like not knowing what to do I mean I I'm gonna be doing like the wedding makeup practice stuff but other than that like I'm kind of like lost at what I should do like makeup wise um, dinka, 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 dinka. Okay, so I'm gonna do a smoky eye, a smoky eye. I'm gonna do like cranberry smoky eye. Transition color. Kind of a peachy reddish color. Do, 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 do. I seriously love this palette that I got. I got it from this website called Sammy Dress, or it was either Sammy Dress or Light in the Box, and it was like ten bucks. And it has beautiful colors, all the colors you need. Especially for fall. Okay. Now I'm gonna do some more of a just a red color. Cranberry, not red. Cranberry.
time. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to be putting on Okay, so I did a uh, cranberry smoky eye and I'm gonna be using my NYX soft lip cream in Stockholm So I just wanted to catch you guys a little bit up and I did most of the catching up in the beginning of the video because like before I even did my foundation. Um, so I don't really have these get ready with me videos down yet but it'll take time. So this is the finished look for my get ready with me video. Thank you guys for tuning in and hearing my exciting news about being engaged and I'm so excited to do some trial makeup like experiments. I think I'll call them like wedding makeup experiments um, on this channel. So, ah, wow. So I had to turn my camera off for a little bit because it said internal temperature hot. So gotta turn it off to cool down but yes so this is the finished look thank you guys for watching and hearing my little life update and i will see you guys in my next video bye